Well, hey folks, this is Randy, Pan Journal here. Uh, I'm gonna do a video on uh, my favorite uh, fountain pen. And you guessed it, it's a Parker Jotter. Uh, I've had this thing a while. I don't know how many of you out there that have them, uh, <clears throat> but my very first fountain pen I had was, uh, it was a zebra. I, I saw it. I was out at, uh, uh, I think it was at Staples or Office Max one day. It's been years ago. So, you know, we always used the zebra stainless steel ink pens, which, you know, they're great ink pens. I like them. But, so I was, I, I, I saw the zebra fountain pen and so I bought it, and I should have looked at the reviews before I bought it, but I bought it, and I like Zebra products. They're, they make great pens, but their fountain pen, not so good, not so good. So so I tried to use it, and it didn't write good. The, the, the ink was terrible. The nib was terrible. It did not, it did not write good at all. And, it, you know, I think it was five, five bucks, five or six dollars. So, you know, so... I wasn't satisfied with it, so I bought, so I found this one. I found this Parker Jotter on uh, Amazon, so, and it got good reviews, and I'm looking at, I'm looking at it now on eBay, and I, and I buy a lot of stuff on, not a lot of stuff, but I buy stuff on eBay, uh, so, uh, it is on here on eBay for $12.99, uh, and it gets five stars. Uh, and I hadn't looked at the reviews on Amazon, but on eBay it gets five stars. It's brand new in the pack. Um, but my my thing with pens is I like you know I like a durable metal pen. Uh, and this is I guess you could say this is the brother or the sister of this one. This is a stainless steel Parker Jotter. Uh, ink pen ballpoint and this this pen is probably the one I use more than any of them I carry more than any of them I like stainless steel you know don't ask me why I just like it it's I like the I like the simplicity of it you know I like the I like the um, I like the looks of stainless steel now I have some colored Parker Jotters that I love and so my thing, my deal with uh, a fountain pen, I've got a, I've got a Lamy fountain pen, which I like. It writes great. And I've got a, a Pilot Metropolitan that I like. So I've got, including that Zebra, which I don't even really know where it is. I mean, I've got four fountain pens, but this is, this is my go-to. And I used this one this morning, uh, taking notes. So this is my go-to, and this this fountain pen writes good. I, I believe it or not, it's twelve ninety nine on eBay, and I probably when I bought this one year a few years ago, I probably paid you know ten bucks for it. I would say ten bucks, or maybe a little bit less. But and you can see this has the Parker, this has the Parker uh, pocket clip. Uh, if you'll notice the ink pen pocket clip is smaller this way. This is a little bit, this is a little bit larger. Uh, you can see it's, it's, uh, it's a little bit larger. Basically the same, same pattern as far as the design, the engraving on the pocket clip. Uh, but it's all stainless except for this right here. It's a little plastic. But one of the things I like about an ink pen is I like a durable metal ink pen that's light. So both of these are lightweight. This is a very lightweight uh, fountain pen. Uh, it's got the pull-off cap, of course, and it it just feels good in my hand. You know, uh, I guess the only thing I might change would put a little bit, you know, a little bit of a something on here to grip it better. Uh, but 
Still, it writes good. And like I told you, it's a cartridge. It's a cartridge uh, ink pen or fountain pen. This is the refill. Uh, and you can buy these on Amazon. You can buy these on eBay, whatever, different colors. Uh, these are these are blue. Uh, and you just you just screw off the, this cap right here. And there's your there's your cartridge. And you can see right there. Uh, you know, and I get a lot of writing out of it. You can see how much is left in it. I get a lot of writing out of the, these cartridges. Now, if you, you know, if you write with it all day, every day, you're not going to get as much. But I don't usually carry this one in, you know, as my daily carry. I, it stays in this drawer right here, and I write in my journal. Or if I'm, you know, if I'm taking notes or doing a devotional or just writing something in my journal, I like to use this because I like the way it writes. And all you do to change this thing out, you just pull it out. It'll snap out, and then you'll you'll see here. This this is what goes in the pen. It'll it'll snap in. But one thing I'll tell you: when you change them out, go ahead and run you some warm water in your sink. And when when you take this cartridge out, run some water. Just run some water down in here when the cartridge is removed and let the hot hot or warm water run through the nib and it'll get, you know, and it'll get it into that dried ink out and just run it in there for a few minutes. Not, not you know, you don't have to do it a real long time, but just run it in there and then uh, it'll it'll clean it out good and you just take a napkin and, and clean it out, you know, and then, and then uh, the warm water get most of your old ink out is what I'm getting at. So then you can take this and snap it in and you're good to go. Now, when you first write with it, it'll be kind of thin because it might be a little bit of water in there, but as you go, it'll, it'll get better. So that's what you do when you change your cartridge out. That's my advice. Uh, so you just put your cartridge in, screw it back on, you know, uh, and you got your top. This thing is light, lightweight, carries great. I mean, it carries great in your pocket. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna write something here, just show you how good it writes. And this is a log and jotter. Uh, it, uh, let me get a blank page here. Okay. So, I'm just going to write my name or my initials. Uh, and this log and jotter, these log and jotter notebooks, they're, they're good for fountain pens. They don't bleed through. There's my initial. Uh, A little sketch here. Uh, you can see the ink. The ink's rich, and if you flip over here, uh, you can even see the ink. So if you want a good, if you want a good, just as a side note, if you want a good uh, three and a half by five and a half notebook to put in your pocket or put in a cover like this, uh, subscribe to Parker. Uh, I'm not Parker Jar, but Log and Jotter. Subscribe to Log and Jotter. Uh, notebooks. You pay five bucks, you get one. You get one every month. Five bucks, including including your uh, uh, shipping. So it's a good deal. And they'll send you one. The artwork's different every every uh, every every month. This is another one, but. The paper, like I said, the paper's good for fountain pens. This thing did not bleed through. Uh, they write good. You know, the good paper seems to be real good paper. Uh, so, so a log a log and jotter is a is a uh, fountain pen friendly paper. But, uh, but I do I do I do like the I do like the Parkers. Uh, and now I have, you know, I've, I've looked here lately and they actually have a colored version, some colored versions. Here's a Parker Jotter fountain pen and it looks, basically looks the same. Uh, basically looks the same as this one. Close to it, but it's, it's blue. Uh, and they got a black one. 
an orange one, a yellow one, and a pink one. Uh, I've got it pulled up here on eBay, so that's what they got. Man, I'm, I'm digging that orange right there. I got a blue. Uh, so they got some different colors. I don't know how long they've been out with these uh, colored Parker Jotters. I may, I may pull the trigger on one, but it, it looks just like this one. The top part's just a little bit, but it, it says Parker Jotter fountain pen, medium, black, and blue ink, choice of barrel color. So that's on eBay. Uh, let me get on here and look again, see what else I got here, some more. Uh, same, same, same colors. Uh, here's a stainless steel one like this one for 17. I think that's a little bit high. You, you can, you know, here, here's one. Here's a Parker Jot original fountain pen, classic, eleven ninety nine, and this one's black, and it's got the different colors. So these these look just like this one. Look just like this one, except for the barrel down here will be will be a different color. So uh, you got orange, green, white, yellow. A, a maroon color, a black, a pink. So you got the different colors, uh, like I said, and it's it'll be it'll be this part that's got the color. This part is still stainless. Uh, let's see how many stars I get. Uh, let's see. I don't see any reviews on them, uh, but. <clears throat> uh, I hadn't really been looking at them lately, but they do have some nice colors. Uh, here's another one. You got they got quite a few stainless steel ones in the in the uh, 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 the prices vary. I'm gonna I'm gonna get on here and and let me let me look on Amazon and see what they have. Uh, they may have. Let's see. Let's see what they got on Amazon here. And I'll tell you what they got here. Okay, official site. I know everybody shops at Amazon. Let's see. All right, let's see. Parker Jotter fountain pen. Let's see what they got. There's the colored ones. And they vary. You have them 15 bucks, 11 bucks. Parker Jot original fountain pen, four and a half stars. Oh, uh, let's see. Here's the orange one for 16 bucks. It gets four stars. And let's see what let's see what the reviews say. Right quick. So let's move on down here. Uh, let's see. And it takes it it takes this refill, the colored ones, just like this one, but this part's colored. Uh, let's see. And it uh, it weighs zero point seven oh five ounces. And I'll look at the I'll look at the uh, other one, but. Okay, so gets says I am a pen person for certain. Not just any pen will do. The pure joy of writing with a medium blue ink pen never that never blobs globs. And the ink the ink the Parker ink fountain pen ink is smooth. Uh but Got one star here. I'm a Parker fan, but this Parker's jinx, blah, blah, blah. Five five stars. Hard to believe this is such a great fountain pen. Best inexpensive fountain pen I ever used. Not only are they hard to find, but I never spent more than 15 bucks. Three stars. Man, nothing special. Here's one star. Do not buy this pen. Four stars. Four stars. One star. Don't waste your money. 
one star, this pen and inks, another one star, four stars, four, five stars. So it, overall it gets, the orange one gets, uh, it gets four stars. So let me see if they got the stainless one here. See what they say about the stainless one. But I do like the colored ones. The difference is this part is plastic, but it's colored where this one is all stainless and that's one of the things I like. So, uh, great pen. Uh, here's a, here's a, here's a black Parker fountain pen. It's not a jotter though. Uh, most of these colored fountain pens by jotter get, get four and a half stars. So, you know, if you, if you, if you want to consider one and you want to get a stop solid stainless one, uh, you know, let's see. So the stain is still when it gets four, four and a half stars, not a perfect pen by any means, never will be, but all in all, I like it. Uh, my expectations is it's not going to write like a $300, uh, fountain pen with a gold nib. Uh, but it's, it's a good companion for this stainless steel ink pen. So, but it does, it does write good. And I'm being honest, the ink is smooth. Now y'all, you know, y'all may have some different, uh, takes on it, you know, opinions on it. But this is a, to me, this is a good, reasonably priced, very reasonably priced fountain pen. Like I said, the Lamy I bought was 30 something dollars. The Parker, the uh, uh, Pilot Metropolitan, I think it was 25, 30 bucks, where this one was 10 bucks. Lightweight, stainless steel, writes good. It's got the cartridge, easy to maintain. Just clean the nib every now and then. Great, to me it's just a great, inexpensive <clears throat> fountain pen. And if you never, if you never tried one, you know they're inexpensive. Give it a try, you know. And I should, like I said, this is my opinion. I've been using it a while and I like it. So anyway, that's my video of the day. And if you, if you like this video, I would appreciate if you would subscribe. Uh, and this is Randy from uh, Pen and Journal. Uh, hit the bell. Hit a like if you like my video. And please leave a comment. I, I like to know, would know if y'all, if any of y'all use this or have one of these and what you think. You know, I like, I like people's opinions. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna get off here and God bless you. And I hope you have a great week. Be safe out there and I'll see you next time.